What is up, everybody? It is your boy Fred. Thank you once again for tuning in to another video, man. Shout out notification squad. I hope you're having a great day. So, yeah, man, pretty much in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite trick to get fullness out of your songs. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making use of parallel compression. So, the main reason I like to use a bit of parallel compression on your tracks is sometimes you don't want to mess with the singular sounds of your mix or maybe you might feel that your whole mix in general is sounding you know maybe that it's a bit too dynamic that it needs a bit of kind of roundness and analog goodness and that's where we can bring in parallel compression so the two ways we can parallel compress we can either parallel compress individual sounds or we could parallel compress the whole mix uh, as you can see my template right here this is the cook up template already has parallel compression in it or not so much parallel compression more so kind of saturation going on but that's not really the focus of this video uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be working on enhancing the drums of this track so i'll play what we have we kind of got like a travis scott type beat going we'll also mess around with the state of an instrumental as well because it it does also need a bit of, of fullness going on as you can see if you look at this waveform you can see these are the drums and these are the instruments right here you can kind of see the difference you know so we can really make use of parallel compression to kind of even everything out if you get what i'm saying so listen to the drums you're going to hear they're a bit dynamic um and they're definitely not gelling too well with the bass so listen for that and then we will treat that let's get it <laughs> As you can hear right there, we do have our drums and they're hitting, but they're not gelling. And that's the one thing I found with a lot of type beats is you've got all the elements sounding good and they're there, but there's just that background thing that's missing. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a parallel. Okay, now, uh, as you can see, we've got all of the drums that are rooted to the drums aux. Now, you could obviously individually uh, send your channels to our parallel chain as well. We'll set one up. But since we do have an aux, you know, things are easier for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click on a random channel. Let's give that a name. We're going to call that Smash, okay, because we're going to be smashing the drums. And then I'll just give that a color. And my favorite plugin to, or my favorite plugin type is to use a 1176 style plugin. So I'm gonna reach for this revision A right here, this blue stripe. And uh, the reason I want this is because it has a bit of saturation and distortion already embedded in the plugin itself. So it's gonna give us that saturation as well as the effect that we want. So it's kind of killing, uh, you know, two birds with one stone per se. So what I'm gonna do is, man, I'm gonna play it again and we're gonna see that these settings by default are too forward sounding they, they kind of pump a bit too much and they don't sound that great so we'll just play it so we definitely get louder but we don't get that rich and fullness that we want we can also hear that the hi-hat has now become too loud so how do we deal with that so with leveling amplifier style plugins that you can use your there's a leveling tool which is a free 1176 plugin or style plugin i guess there is the wave cla there's a whole bunch of free leveling amplifier style plugins which you can make use of the, the point and the focus we're trying to do is we really want to enhance the input and then turn down the output because that way what we're going to do is we're going to leave with compression you can see here whenever this uh, meter right here goes backwards or to the left it means that we are compressing and what we want essentially is to completely crush the signal kind of like 20 db of compression and that's where we're going to get that kind of what we call the wall of sound or blanket of sound okay so let's do that So you can kind of hear it almost fools us into thinking that the bass which is not part of this parallel chain sounds a bit 
sounds a bit louder, excuse me. Uh, and that's kind of the, the cool thing about it is like our brains are now assuming that everything is a bit louder because we kind of have this thing going on in the background, which is essentially not really changing any of the original sounds, but it is complementing them because it's what we call kind of at the, the rear of it or the rear bus is what Andrew Sheps would call it. But really it's in parallel, NY compression, whatever you want to call it. So it sounds really good to me. Uh, I really like how the drums now smack. So we'll just listen again without. And that's cool, but once we have this, it just... Now what we can do to make this go even crazier is we can enhance the, uh, we can en enable the all buttons in mode, which basically means now we've got a really crazy saturation going on, a really crazy um, compression ratio going on as well, which is gonna introduce more distortion to our signal. As you can see, the meter even changes. So we've got this really crazy sound going on. So we'll, we'll juggle between the two and then we'll see if there are any sonic differences. As you can hear, we really get that smack going on. So now I want to show you how we can use parallel compression to pretty much get the synths of a mix up. Now you can also apply this to your vocal mixes as well, your full vocal mix, um, because it's really going to help you pull those vocals out of the mix, but also not have to actually do any level adjustment any further. You know what I mean? Once you're at the end of the mix, you don't really want to be doing too much level adjustments. Once you've got all the tones right, you can start using parallel compression. So we'll take a listen to the Zaytoven beat right here. The drums kind of kicking over here with the hi-hats and that kind of thing. We'll take a listen and see what we can do to further bring up the quiet elements in the mix. So as you can see right there, Zaytoven is great at making beats, man. As you can see that kind of that 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 clap sounds great, but it's a bit dynamic. And then the synths are a bit quiet compared to the 808. Now we can really enhance that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just bring that into the mixer right there. Let's bring that to channel 28. And then what I'll do is I will send it towards the smash track as well. And then we'll start uh, kind of messing around with it. And you can kind of hear, we also get that cool benefit of having the synths actually raise in volume when no drums are present because obviously the compressor is going back to the original sound, right? That means that we're going to have like two loud elements in, so kind of just pay attention to that. And that can sound pretty cool as well. Obviously, we don't want to overdo it, so, you know, really I'm just emphasizing everything in this video so you can really hear the compression, but in general, we would kind of have a more respectable uh, level going on in the background, so... And then we can also mess around with some of the other ratios. You know, what's really cool about these uh, plugins or emulations is that we can really mess around with the ratios as uh, the same with the original units, right? The real hardware units. What we can also do, this is the last bonus, is we could also add a stereo enhancer to our signal. So for example, we could pull out the Waves S1 and then we could also enhance the stereo field a bit further. That way we've got this kind of crush thing going on in the background, but it's also sounding a bit wider, you know what I mean? So.
What we could also do for final kind of thing is we could also add in a bit of uh, kind of extra distortion and grit. So let's find a nice plugin which we can do that with. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm thinking of like a, um, what do we have that we can use? Uh, we could use the Acme, which is something I got recently. And this is also gonna add in a lot of distortion. So let's actually turn off the revision. They actually will keep it on since we've already got that level going. <laughs> And yeah, there you go, man. We could also add a, a real distortion plugin. So let's add, um, I was thinking of the SSL saturator. All right, there you go. This is also going to add a little bit of console warmth per se. But there you go, man. That's pretty much how we do subtle a parallel compression in order to really get your drums and full mixes to sound a bit better. So yeah, man, hopefully you learned something in this video. Definitely try it out with any plugin. You don't have to have fancy plugins to do it. Um, Fruity Multiband is great for that because you can actually see what's going on. Maximus is great as well. Uh, they're just a bunch of plugins which you could use. Try use the um, Bass Color 4 with the uh, Fruity Soft Clip. That's definitely a good mix for, for studio users. So yeah, man, hopefully you learned something. Definitely check the template link in the description if you are a beat maker. There are a bunch of cool presets which come with uh, this um, template you know all the the drums are like kind of preset up so you, you'll see i've kind of zeroed everything out but uh yeah man definitely check it out i'll check it out next time peace out